Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Happy Report number 29. Um, it should have come Sunday, but Sunday I was just engrossed in, in two, at least, very, very, very happy things to do. One, I was honored to uh, per perform with my uh, dear friend uh, Leo on uh, radio on... Um, FPP uh, radio here in uh, Paris and I hope to be able to do do so uh, again with him and, and others uh, very soon and also on Sunday I got to deliver some belated birthday gifts to my favorite three-year-old in the whole universe, or the whole multiverse, and that would be little Amy. <laughs> and I'm happy to say that she enjoyed her gifts, and I enjoyed her card that I got. From, and uh, so Sunday was a very, very, very happy day for me, and that's how my happy report started, by my reporting happy things that happened to me during the week uh, uh, or whatever that would uh, override or balance out all of the negativity and everything that um, that had gone on during the week. Now, um, I have uh, noticed, uh, as I had said before, I, I don't uh, read n newspapers or any of that because whenever there's a report going on or something, People make sure that you hear about it because they just love to spread bad news or, 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 or that kind of thing. I mean, the, the news, the media has us trained kind of to do that. We've been indoctrinated to do that. You know, if we hear something uh, bad or disturbing, you know, it's immediately, oh, let's call everybody and tell them about that in case they didn't hear the bad news. Let's tell them, you know. And uh, I feel, well, to counteract that, anything good that I hear, I want to want to call everybody and tell them so that they will know that there is a balance out there and that there is uh, that there are uh, other other ways of looking at things and that uh, that your 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 happiness and your contentment and everything is inside you so my message today is more to use this confinement as a means of um, finding uh, the good things that you can uh, count, concentrate on. Uh, think, of, uh, think of all the, the things that you can do. Use this time to, uh, uh, intro, uh, for introspection, to go inside and really get to know yourself and to know what your feelings are and to, um, to change your feelings if need be. Uh, toward others or towards certain situations or whatever. It's always uh, a good idea to, uh, to try to look at the bright side of everything and nothing lasts forever. I'm pretty uh, lucky in so much as I get, uh, I'm in a kind of a co-location, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, with uh, friends and with two friends, and we are, all the three of us are compatible with one another, and so that, that works very well. So I do have someone to bounce off of, to talk to, so, you know, to, to share feelings with, and everything. But uh, if you don't have, call those people uh, that, that you do communicate with uh, well, and uh, get in touch with them. If you have to do it over the, um, over the media, <clears throat> so be it. Uh, that's at least one way. Don't let yourself become isolated and depressed because there is absolutely no reason to do that. If the sun is shining outside, get outside, go for a walk and, and have, um, uh, have a, a, a visit with nature. Go walking in the woods. Uh, go walking along the river. Go to the seafront or the ocean front. Uh, go to the lake if there's nothing else. And if you happen to be up in the mountains and there are none of these places, then go walk along that stream there, or uh, something along uh, something along those lines. Go sit by a waterfall. 
uh, play music outside and uh, enjoy the, the fresh air. Um, and uh, these are the things that you can do instead of sitting inside and concentrating on what you cannot do. Uh, because there's always for the things that you cannot do, there's at least two or three things that you can do. And so we must, uh, we must always remember that and remember that there are always options. Options are always there. And uh, so um, I guess uh, that's my real message of today. I'm going to go for a walk today because the sun is shining and uh, I'm going to go for a very long walk as a matter of fact while the sun is shining and um, I'm going to practice a little music either with Frankie and or Made and that should be fun and I'm uh, wishing everyone their place, their special place or space or frequency or whatever you want to call it to go to and be at peace, at peace enough that you can feel it and then send it through every part of your body and then when you go out and when you meet people uh, you share this with them, share these thoughts, share these things and that will overcome the uh, the lows that might be uh, in your life. Uh, so um, that <coughs> part, that's my take on it, and um, that's it. A little later today, I might play another game of yam all by myself. Uh, in uh, to the English speaking people, it's Yahtzee. I love that game. So, uh, but. Um, at any rate, uh, as I said, you know, it will be over, nothing will last forever, so we've got time to, to introspect, to visualize, and, and uh, create better scenarios for ourselves, create higher scenarios for ourselves. And, um, and with those happy words, I will say to you, thanks again for listening and viewing, and namaste.